At polling station number 164 in central Moscow, they arrived in steady numbers this morning. Whatever else this election is, it's not expected to be a cliffhanger. Among the five candidates running, there's a right-wing eccentric, a discredited communist, a billionaire industrialist, and there's Vladimir Putin. The once, and it seems the future, president had taken a four-year hiatus as prime minister, but is now poised to sweep back into the presidency for a third term. And if not everybody is happy about that, he was booed at this campaign appearance. That's easily fixed. The main TV channel he controls simply edited out the booing. And there are fears that any inconvenient anti-Putin expression at the ballot box can be just as easily countered with a little old-time Russian election rigging. A practice that was widely suspected during the parliamentary vote here last December and which led to large street demonstrations. Now election observers at the polls know what they're looking for. I mean, there was ballot box stuffing. Uh, you know, there were uh, all sorts of uh, manipulation of, uh, of the election uh, commissions at the local level. So it was, uh, it was not a good report card. This election has become like a March Madness basketball game between two uneven teams. The only real suspense is in the point spread. Just how large a margin of victory Vladimir Putin will have. Putin, though, doesn't have to cheat. Opinion polls show him well ahead. Future peace on Russia's streets will depend on how great a victory he claims.